But from Dallas, Texas to Burlington, Vermont, people will be traveling across America to watch the moon cover the sun. The last total solar eclipse was seen in America in 2017. And then after Monday, the U.S. won't be seeing one again until 2044. And while most Americans are grabbing their solar glasses and watching from the ground, NASA will be getting a bird's eye view of the otherworldly occurrence. If you're looking to catch the April 8th total solar eclipse, you'll want to be somewhere with clear skies. For some scientists, that means heading above the clouds. During the 2024 solar eclipse, the WB-57 airplanes will be flying at an altitude of about 50,000 feet, chasing the eclipse shadow over the coast of Mexico near Mazatlan. For the team led by the Southwest Research Institute, this will be their second time chasing an eclipse. So they're using an improved camera setup. We might not actually even know what we're going to see, and that's part of the excitement, is opening brand new discovery space and learning new things about the sun. Just so much excitement. Joining us now is Denise Hill, NASA Strategic Communications and Outreach Lead. All right, Denise, tell me the plan for Monday. You know, first of all, well, where are you going to be watching it? And then also, where is your team? Tell us more about the logistics. This is really cool. So we are super excited. We have partnered with Indianapolis Motor Speedway. So I am currently in Indianap Indianapolis right now uh, getting ready for the eclipse. And our team is actually split. We have what we're calling sunspots all across the path of totality. But my team is uh, here in Indy and then also in Dallas, Texas, where we'll be um, broadcasting live from both locations for the eclipse, but also from uh, paths from places all across the path of totality. So tell me about why, I mean, obvious, this is an obvious question, but why is Monday so exciting for you? Is it because of the length of the eclipse? I mean, if I'm not mistaken, for, for some folks, depending on where they're located, it could be more than four minutes. Is it the fact that it goes across the whole United States? I mean, what is about it? I mean, I, I guess there's so many things that you're probably excited about, right? But what is it for you? <laughs> For me personally, I've never seen a total solar eclipse, and I hear that it is earth-shattering, it is life-changing. I hear it's more than just like a spectacular thing that you see. It's something you experience kind of like with your whole body. All of your senses are in tune. I hear that like things can even go on inside of you emotionally and some believe even spiritually. And then of course, from the science realm, we are so excited about the science that we're able to do because during an eclipse, it's like the perfect laboratory environment because we know exactly how long we have. We know exactly what's going to happen and we can take measurements during that time. And so, and then also it's like super unifying. Like everyone in the contiguous United States is going to at least see a partial eclipse. So it's something that regardless of socioeconomic status or color or race or any of that stuff, we're all gonna experience this beautiful event together. So that's why I'm excited. Okay, and I just, uh, for our viewers to know, I think we only have about 10 seconds or less, Denise. You can still enjoy it if you're not in the path, right, for our viewers? And I know yes. we're running out of time, but we can still enjoy it? Yes. Yes. Uh, partial eclipse across the contiguous United States, you'll still see something, and then we're going to be broadcasting live, so you can catch all of totality. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We are so grateful for you. We are very excited about Monday. Of course, for our viewers, you need to wear your glasses on Monday. We don't want anyone to do this dangerously. And we have special coverage starting at 9 a.m. Eastern, 8 a.m. Central. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.